Hi, hello, my dear students. Welcome to my video lecture class. I thought you know we discuss uh, so we discuss eight example problems. Up to now we discuss based upon equation of motion and motion under gravity. Now today we are going to discuss problem number nine. Example nine we discuss. So observe carefully, ma. So what is the question here? A body starts from rest. A body starts from rest. So already I told in previous lectures, if any body starts from rest means initial velocity is zero. So initial velocity for this body is zero because the body starts from rest and moves with constant acceleration for t seconds. Moves with constant acceleration for t seconds. It Travels distance x1 in first half of time and s2 in next half of time. Then a option a is equal to s2 option a s2 is equal to 3s1 option b s2 is equal to s1 option c s2 is equal to 4s1 option d s2 is equal to 2x1. So we need to find uh, which condition is correct here. First of all, what is given question and uh, what we need to find? This is very important. What is given question here? Body starts from rest, moves with constant acceleration for t seconds. So it starts from rest, moves with constant acceleration for certain t seconds it will move. In this total t seconds, distance s1 in next half time and s2 in next half of time. So first half time is uh, the cover distance is x1, next half time is cover distance is s2. So then what is the relation between s1 and s2 we need to find. So what we need to find? Relation between s2 and s1. First of all given data, what is given data? So we represented in diagrammatic format here, observe carefully. So this is a starting point I consider, this is ending point I consider. So let us consider this is A point, this is B point. So what is in the question given? A body starts from rest. That means starts from rest means initial velocity is 0 meter per second. Initial velocity 0 meter per second and moves with constant acceleration. Here for this moment uh, acceleration is constant. For this moment acceleration is constant they given in the question. For t seconds, for t seconds it travelled in t seconds. The total time taken for this one. So here, uh, so t seconds. The total time is here t seconds. So from A to B, I consider here two points A and B. From A to B, body starts from rest. That's why initial velocity is zero meter per second, and here acceleration is constant toward the motion. And time t seconds, uh, it moves from A to B here. So, and next what they given? It travels a distance x1 in first half of time. So, this will be classified into 2. This time t seconds will be classified into 2. First half of time, it covered distance is x1. x1 distance in first half of time. Total time t seconds. First half of time means what now? t by 2 seconds, t by 2 seconds, in t by 2 seconds it cover distance is x1 and next half of time, next half of time, next half of time means another t by 2 seconds, it travelled distance is x2, the travel distance is s2, first half of time covered distance is x1, half of time means t by 2 seconds, next half of time means t by 2 seconds, it covered distance is s2, so relation between s1 and s2 we need to find here. So how to find this one ma? Uh, for finding this one, distance formula. So from second equation, S is equal to ut plus half at square. S is equal to ut plus half at square. So here observe carefully, distance is x1 here. Initial velocity is already they given 0 into t plus half into acceleration is a only here. t square means t square. Here t means for distance x1 time is what ma? t by 2. That's why substitute here. t is equal to t by 2 whole square. So now x1 is equal to 
zero into t we got zero plus half into a into t by two whole square means t square by four here. So now x one is equal to half into a t square by four a t square x. So from this what we got my dear a t square by eight a t square by eight. x1 is equal to what we got here 8 is square by 8 here so this is a x1 value we got here 8 is square by 8 so the main important thing is so these questions are very important for the competitive purpose here observe carefully here body will be moves in two steps process the body moves in two steps process this is very important here body moves in two steps process step by step moving process like this questions are given for example if a car starts from rest 